conferences are a staple in the life of professionals. Does that hold true for writing professionals? I think it does, with a few caveats. That's what we'll be talking about today. As you know, I'm a Hope Riders certified coach and Hope Riders is having a conference this year. Um, they haven't had one for a couple years because of COVID-19. So if you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina vicinity and think after you hear my three tips that you're ready to attend a writing conference and Hope Riders Conference looks like the one for you, go ahead and check out the links that I've got below. And yes, those are affiliate links. One is for the in-person conference or maybe you just want to try it virtually. And I have been to a few virtual conferences. So if that's the most you can swing and it looks like um, the sessions and the agent um, appointments are something that we're going to pan out for you, definitely give the virtual attendance a, a try. What's the worst that happens? You learn a few things and it's not exactly what you expected. So three reasons that you should attend a writing conference. So for me, the top reason is to get published. Hello, I'm a writer. I wanted to get published. I want to publish my stories. We want to get them out there. Writing conferences invite and host different agents and publishers to come and meet with write, writers. And the writers get an opportunity to pitch them. Usually it's about a 10 minute meeting with them. So you have to work up an elevator pitch and they can pitch their project to the agents. So one reason you should attend a writing conference is because your dream agent or your dream publisher is going to have a representative there that you can meet with. Maybe it isn't your dream publisher or dream agent, but it's an agent or a publisher who would be interested in your genre. Another person to hook up a, an appointment with. And the more is merrier. First year I attended Willamette Writers Conference here in Portland, Oregon. I only pitched to one agent and I was so nervous. I thought I was going to be sick. She requested pages. Yes. The next year I met with two, both requested pages. So I say, if the money isn't too prohibitive, because yes, it does cost extra to meet with these people, um, meet with as many as fit with your project, because, Hey, you're there, you're going to get to meet them face to face. And my experience has been pretty positive that they will pass you a business card. They will ask for more information about your project. So if you're going pitch, what? Please check out my website and look for pitch, Try, type in pitching. I have several blogs about ways to create a successful pitch if you're attending a writing conference. Okay, so the second reason that you should definitely attend a writing conference is because there are a bunch of useful sessions that will help you expand your knowledge for writing. So when I first attended, I attended craft classes. I had gotten some feedback from agents that my characters weren't as engaging. So first off I did character workshops and then that my story structure was a little bit weak. So then I went to story structure workshops. Um, but then as time advanced, I wanted more that were toward a professional author. And one of the best sessions that I ever have ever attended was at the Oregon Christian Writers Conference. Now they're called Cascade Christian Writers. So um, if you look for that, um, and it was for creating your, creating your fiction writing career. And it was taught by Susan May Warren. And if you've been watching this at all, you've heard me drop her name many times. She is someone I definitely consider as one of my mentors who I would not be as far along in writing if I hadn't met up with her. And so each morning of the conference, so like three mornings, I think we had a class with her and she went through how to build a uh, writing career. It was excellent. It was exceptional information. And from that, um, 
I hooked up with her writing retreat and her novel academy. So if there are useful sessions, I know that Willamette Writers has in recent years set, had, had a self-publishing track where you could learn a lot of things about how to self-publish your book. So if that's what you want, look for conferences that have a self-publishing track. So when you check out the Hope Writers links that I put down below, see what the sessions are about. If they're not useful, but your agent is there, maybe you still should go. That's for you to determine. Usually every year when I go, I say, this is my top priority for the conference. And then this is my next priorities, okay? But my number one priority definitely needs to get met by one of these three things. Three things, that's right. Number three is networking. Now, networking is important in every industry. I don't know what your day job is, or as people call it, when they want to write a book, but every profession has a network of other professionals in related industries or whatever. But publishing is a fairly small industry, um, you know, within itself. So Christian publishing within it, definitely even smaller. But you want a network of professionals who are also publishing. They can help you. Um, what I've seen is that cold submissions to agents don't get agents. Everyone I've talked to that has an agent, I go, well, how'd you get your agent? Well, my friend, this published author read my stuff and said, oh, this would be great. My agent would totally want you. And even in the cases when their agent didn't, their agent knew an agent who would be interested. And that's how they got hooked up. So there wasn't a cold query letter and they got hooked up with this agent. So that is why number one, pitch your ideal agent in person at a conference. So you can feel the um, energy between you two. Is this gonna be someone I want to work with? And yes or no, at least if you've met them face to face, you have a better idea than if you just do a cold submission. So three reasons you should attend a writing conference. Do you have to have all three? No, whatever your top priority is, I want to get a contract <clears throat> for this book. Great. Do you, is your ideal agent and publisher there? So before you attend your next writing conference, consider these three things. And if you have attended a writing conference and you feel like Sharon did not address what you feel is the most important reason, please drop that in the comments below because I'd love to hear it about it. And if you have attended a writing conference, and it was fabulous. Tell me about it. Where was it? What was great about it? So until next time, keep writing, my friend.